evolve your game and get a $100 bonus. Sign up now at TVG.com. Welcome back to The Morning Line, everyone. Tom Cassidy alongside Dave Weaver, and we are just about getting ready to start our Kentucky Derby discussion as far as the field goes. We'll be starting with post one in just a moment, and actually we're going to start right now, and of course we're talking yeah. about the $2 million run for the Roses. Now, let's go inside, post one. Vickers in trouble, coming off of a good win last time out in the Louisiana Derby, went to the front end, drew away, and ended up going wire to wire to win by three and a half. Yeah, not where you want to be. Nobody wanted to get stuck on the inside in the Kentucky Derby, but somebody had to have the rail, and it turned out to be Vickers in trouble, who does have speed, and Rosina Pravnik is going to be pressed to have to send from the inside, or else everybody's going to be trying to get over on that three-year-old Colt heading into that first turn. But... This is a strong wire-to-wire -wire win last time out in the Grade 2 Louisiana Derby, this, but that was a speed-favoring day. Now, this is going a mile and eighth. He's going to drift out a little bit under left-handed encouragement. Then you're going to see Rosie Napravnik go back to the right-handed encouragement. He's going to switch to his wrong lead, lug in a little bit there, getting to the wire, but he was still best that day, winning by uh, three and a half lengths when all was said and done. Now, in some of his races, Dave, he has shown that he can sit off of horses, but from that inside draw... It's going to be a big day. There's going to be a big crowd. I'm thinking he might be a little headstrong, a little rank. I think he's going to have to go because it's going to be tough to be sitting in behind horses on the inside with a big field like that. Yeah, I don't think you have much of a choice, but just to go and see yeah. what happens to that first turn and hope that you can get there first. And you can see here, uh, as a, we have a bio of Vickers in Trouble, who has done very little wrong in five starts. He's three for five with two-thirds, and he's earned over $788,000. Look at the purchase price, just $80,000 <laughs> is all he costs <laughs> as a two-year-old. <laughs> Louisiana bred, yep. looking to uh, pull off the upset from and the inside. You can see here, Bayou Blues, Louisiana Derby winners to win at the Kentucky Derby. Grindstone. Grindstone back in 96, black gold in 1924. Louisiana Derby runners are one for 35 in the Derby since 1996, but that's a tough trio right there. Vickers in trouble, sure. intense holiday, and commanding curve all coming out of the Louisiana well, Derby. Rosie Napravnik already has the best finish in the Kentucky Derby for any female rider, yes. and that was last year when she finished fifth, and she also was ninth in 2011, so she's been getting closer to becoming the first female rider to ever win the Kentucky Derby. We'll go from the inside draw, Vickers in trouble, the mountain this year for Rosie Napravnik, as uh, this will be back-to-back -back years. We'll be seeing Rosie Napravnik in the run for the Roses. Of course, she rode my loot last year for Tom Amos, pants on fire back in 2011 for Kelly Breen. That's Vickers in Trouble, 20 to 1 on the adjusted morning line from the inside draw. Now, next up is going to be another horse going out for trainer Mike Maker. Big price. That's Harry's Holiday at a big price, coming off of a 13th place effort in the grade one Toyota Bluegrass last time out. Yeah, you know, earned 20 points by finishing second in the spiral two starts back. And he was one of the last horses to jump into the top 20 and make it into the Kentucky Derby. But Harry's Holiday is uh, certainly up against it off of his 13th place finish last time out in the Bluegrass. He's going to try to rebound and uh, do what he did in the spiral when he was up a little bit closer to the lead and just lost a this was a bad tough, photo tough, yeah if uh, yeah for for not only the connections of harry's holiday but also if you bet him at 15 to 1 that day uh, that was a, a very tough beat losing there by a nose too we miss artie who we'll be talking about in just mm. a little while from now then last time out harry's holiday was in good position a little headstrong early on in the bluegrass and behind horses in that first uh, five or six horses there early on and then tired in the lane, but maybe this one bounced off of that tough effort in the spiral too back. And, and he likes it here at Churchill Downs, too. He began his career here. He was actually claimed in his very first start yeah. for $30,000. An amazing accomplishment to see a maiden $30,000 claimer make it into the Kentucky Derby. Uh, I, I can think of Charismatic that yep. was in a maiden claiming race many, many years ago, but unthinkable to have a horse that you claim first time out for 30 end up in the run for the Roses. Corey Lannery will ride, I believe, Corey Lannery's first Kentucky Derby mount. And so. he deserves it, too. He's having oh, a yeah. really good year. This guy's riding as good as I've ever seen him. And uh, good luck to Corey with Harry's holiday. Let's continue our discussion with number three, Uncle Cy. The Blinkers are going on. Now, last time out, Dave, in the Wood Memorial, we talked to Gary Contessa yesterday. Big thanks to Gary for coming on the morning line yesterday to talk to us. 
And he didn't have the best of starts uh, no. in the Wood Memorial. Social inclusion was directly to his outside, was acting up a little bit in the gate. And Uncle Cy may have been distracted a little bit. He's going to get away slowly, uh, leaving the starting gate there. In fact, get away eighth in the field of 10 and then get hung wide into that first turn. Let's take a look here at the start for Uncle Cy. Now, he's the second horse from the bottom of dead the last. screen. Gets away dead.